Hennig, originally from Germany, had a five-year hiatus okay, from 03 to 08. Benick and Banks match up very well. They are the same height. Banks has a, a slight reach advantage. Both guys in their mid-30s, both very big guys compared to what we're used to seeing here on Fight Night Club. The rules governing this bout and all the bouts is from the California Athletic Commission. The scoring is on a 10-point must system. A three-knockdown rule is not in effect. There is no standing eight count. Only the referee or the doctor can stop the fight. And in the event an accidental foul ends the bout, we will go to the scorecards after four rounds. All right, everything is set. Let's go into the ring with Amy Hayes and the official announcements. Welcome to Fight Night Club. Let's hear it. Woo! Tonight's event is presented to you by Golden Boy Promotions and AEG, part of the Quaker State Durability Series. Sponsored by Quaker State, EA Sports, Fight Night Round 4, Vitamin Water, and tonight's bouts are under the auspices of the California State Athletic Commission. The chairman of the California State Athletic Commission, Tim Noonan, and the interim executive officer, also in attendance, Dave Thornton. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with us here tonight in the City of Angels and watching across the world, our first bout of the evening, four rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 260.8 pounds. He wears gold and black. His record, two wins, two losses, two draws, and one knockout. From Redwood City, California, the body snatcher, Johan Banks. And now we go across the ring to the red corner. Weighing in at 244.4 pounds. He wears black tonight. His record, seven wins, one loss, and six of those wins coming by big time knockout. All the way from Munich, Germany, via Los Angeles, he is Herman the German Bennett. Your referee and man in charge of the action, Raul Caiz Sr. Okay, gentlemen, you've had your instructions. Both your trunks are high, so right here is fine. Shake hands and good luck to both of you. All right, guys, well, here's the first on Fight Night Club. The big boys are here, and um, you'd figure at their age they should be fighting, I don't know, six, eight rounds? <laughs> this, this is like a, a butterbean type uh, event. Well, butterbean <laughs> or not, I'm glad I ain't 200 some pounds. These guys are big. This is a small ring, even for lightweights and featherweights. It's, it's practically a phone booth for these guys, so, I mean, we're going to see a lot of action. The real estate has shortened this ring. That's right. They're kind of forced to uh, exchange. And these are brawny guys, too. I mean, they, you know, a lot of times you see a heavyweight who's over 250 pounds. He's fat. He's got a spare tire. These are just big, husky dudes. Not the most polished uh, heavyweights in the world. As you know, uh, Binnick only eight fights in his professional career. Uh, Banks only six fights, two, two, and two. So uh, with this kind of experience and this age, I I is this a, a somewhat unusual fight? Well, I'll tell you, the first one that lands the, the best punch fights over. <laughs> it's not actually usual. It, it, it's unusual. It's just, it's, it's just that, you know, that where their careers are. Their careers is what it is. And, you know, <laughs> it's, it's hard really to pick one over the other because their records is similar, like, you know, the experience is similar the same. But I think the first one that lands the first good shot, I just got that little feeling that, it, it, you know, 
It might be an early night for both. Either one. Whoa. If the ring holds They're up. They're about to destroy this. If the, the ring this holds ring. up. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to. That's a first. I don't think I've ever seen I've anything like this I've actually seen happen. that happen one time, and there was a delay of, a, of about 20 minutes as they tried to repair the ring. So let's hope that, the, that in this case, this is a uh, an easier ring to uh, to repair. Right, to correct. I'm not even quite sure what happened. It looked like I don't it know sort if of the ropes dropped a, a foot or something. I don't know if the ropes were just the, the sound, but something gave way a little bit. But I don't I don't see anything that's like damaging. It. Maybe the oh the ring post shifted. Wow. Hey, these are big guys. <laughs> And you guys said anything can happen, and obviously uh, that indeed has occurred. As uh, both boxers, I think, are as surprised as we all are. <laughs> I mean, do the math. You put both of these guys together, they weigh well over 500 pounds. It's true. Now, I mean, that's uh, a because lot of, of the weight. circumstances, they're not allowed to go uh, to the to corner the, to the talk. Corner. So now they're sitting in the middle of the ring. Yeah. So there's going to be a debate. <laughs> Exactly. It's going to be to, who's the meanest guy? Each other. I don't know. I think that's a draw. Well, let's, I mean, let's, we can't win. Let's I think, take a vote. Who's the meanest this, looking one? He looked meaner. He looked meaner. <laughs> this is the first in boxing that I've seen a boxing lineup. They should well, arm wrestle or something. This is, this is a boxing that's lineup. That's a good idea. Let's take a table up there and have yeah. an arm wrestle. Yeah. This is a boxing lineup that never happened in the history of boxing. I see the it's a it's the the turnbuckle of the neutral corner closest to us guys. It actually became unhinged from the floor. So they, they literally made it. Yeah. They had to try to fit it back on there. Yeah, they're yeah. pulling on it. Yeah. It looked like they're it will be to, repaired. Yeah, I don't yeah. think anything bent or anything broken. This came out of the would you say the hinges or this yeah. came out of a. It came know, off the socket. The so socket. To speak. Right? All right, so I guess we're going to require an engineer to try to uh, to, to, to fix this. Now, it's not rocket science. It's just getting that thing right back on the socket. Well, if and they then, need then, a little muscle, why don't we get Vinick or, you know, uh, or Bex to, to push it a little bit? I mean, after all, if they didn't want to cause the problem. You know, but. <laughs> exactly. Now, as a side note, if, if you look at the records, uh, Bex actually started uh, his professional career in uh, 2007. That means that he was 32 years old when he started fighting professionally. Now, what inspires someone at the age of 32 to give it a try in, in, in a sport as rough as this one? I think one is watching boxing and wanted to do it early, but somehow didn't, couldn't. And now they figure that, you know, they can. They got the size. Look, heavyweights always have a chance to make a noise in the business of boxing. So, hey, if I was 200 plus pounds and I wanted to box and I'm 30, I think I'll take a shot at it. I mean, the way boxing is now as a heavyweight, <laughs> you know, nobody's really making big, big noise other than the Klitschko brothers. You, you got a point. And uh, uh, Binnick also uh, started fighting late in his career, Took a, actually took a long break, uh, five-year hiatus, as a matter of fact, from 2003 to 2008, uh, decided to come back. So uh, only fought, uh, he hasn't fought in a year, July of 2008. So, um, all right, we're going to give him a, a little extra rest. We're going to take a quick break and hopefully come back with the uh, culmination of uh, Binnick versus Banks right here from Los Angeles. All right, we're back in Los Angeles here at LA Live where the unexpected actually happened. The ring, what can we say, somewhat uh, uh, had a malfunction. Became unhinged <laughs> just a tad. And, you know, it doesn't happen all the time, but you know, boxing has a lot of ways of making history. I mean, you remember the fan man with Riddick Bowe and, and Holyfield, and I mean. This is what actually caused the, 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 the malfunction. It was uh, just a little, I guess, push against the ropes and you, you see the, the, the far end. That's kind of scary uh, because Binnick's full weight was not against those ropes. Thank God. <laughs> it was I mean, actually the, the, the opposite side. And our, our statisticians actually went back into the record books. And uh, that one other instance that we were talking about was uh, Joan Guzman and Agapito Sanchez in San Diego, California. This yes. is a few years back. So, um, you know, it happens every now and then. Uh, rings are not uh, foolproof or bulletproof. So, um uh, and these some big guys. Let's not forget these guys. I mean, what, 260 pounds. I mean, these are big, big guys. So yeah. when you got 500 plus pounds in the ring, 
I mean, you know, I don't. It wouldn't have happened if it was Charlie Huerta. Or, no, or it wouldn't have happened if it was Charlie or me. <laughs> Or any, any other young fighter, but it, hey, look, you got big guys in the ring, and they're gonna flop on the ropes, and they're gonna use the ropes for offense and these these of defense attack uh, tactic, and things happen. Bernard, what do you think is going through Binnick's mind right now? Get the rope fixed so I can fight. <laughs> I mean, look at the face; they're ready to go. Both guys are ready ready to go. I mean, they had a they had a good rest. You know right. what I mean? So, so, the, so you know, they warm up. All of a sudden, they have to take a long break again. This reminds me of like uh, Riddick Bo when the Fan Man uh, came in. You know, uh, Bo against... Uh, that was Holyfield. Holyfield, was that's right. And so, again, it, it, it was a very lengthy delay. They had to uh, and that cover was up outdoors. because it was outdoors, right. so they, they needed blankets. Warm. They had to stay warm. So in this case, at least we're indoors, but still very distracting. It, it's got to break your concentration. It's mental. They have yes. to keep their focus. Exactly. And it broke the rhythm of, of both guys. Even though they was all over the place getting their bearings.